I hope you brought your checkbooks. Are you excited to meet the president? Yes. Don't say a thing about J.P. Morgan's nose. What's wrong with his nose? Nothing. What's wrong with his nose? It's huge. Huge. It's like someone took a hammer and slammed it into his face. I thought you already got the money. I only got half. Does Morgan even know that you're coming? You'll invest as always. I hate this. Mr. Edison, you have dinner with... What? Dinner with Westinghouse on your return. Why are barns red? Maybe so you can see them in the snow. Well, that's because red paint's the cheapest. Why your shoes? Jesus. Morgan will want to know the practicality of your system. I have money. Not for two small buildings in Manhattan? Yes. No good. This was intended to be my lunch. The president had asked to see the phonograph in person. I had no idea you'd be here. Mrs. Edison. Mr. Morgan, these are our children. Dot and Dash, delightful. I know what you're doing. How much are you short? Just how much of my money do you want to wash away? Oh, it's very, very much as possible. Who's this? Samuel Linsel, Mr. Edison's personal secretary. Mr. Morgan, Mr. Edison? Which one? He's also Mr. Edison. The president will see you now. top of the crumpety tree, the quangle wangle sat, but his face you could not see on account of his beaver hat. This is the sound of your voice. Top of the crumpety tree, the quangle wangle sat, but his face you could not see on account of his beaver hat. Is that what I sound hat? like? <laughs> My men tell me you're turning down five million dollars. I'm grateful for the offer, Mr. President, but it's the type of science you're after that I find objectionable. There's always money and guns. The one device I shall never build is that which takes the life of another man. It's barbaric. But take a look at this. One square mile of Manhattan, the first district. And I'm going to light it up. And you have done it. Star in a jar. It's a warm glow. No smell, no poison. 13 hours of light per glow, but it's Cheaper than gas, safer too. We bury the wires using my DC current. And those same wires will bring you energy and heat. I need two buildings to house six dynamos of my own construction. This won't even reach my house. Morgan, let me make you so rich that you will look back at this moment and wonder why was I ever so disgustingly poor. <laughs> it's all right there, buried to Wall Street. In case you missed my scribble, there's a big old circle around the New York Times. Free advertising. 150. Half a million. I'm talking about $500,000 by the next century. Brighter, safer, yours. Sounds rather grand to me, Pierpont, if I had your fortune. With respect, you don't, Mr. President. What is that? That's not very nice. Uh, Morse code. <laughs> what did the boy say? What did if, the boys uh, say? Nothing else. It's been a pleasure, Mr. President. What did the President? boys say? You know what you're doing. I always receive more by saying no. Set up the Manhattan offices and make them look professional. What does that mean? Oh, I don't know. Carpets. I don't know. Carpets. Mm -hmm. And the name? Edison Electric, of course. Sir. Why not build munitions? Five million dollars, it's hard to say no to them. No. It's Edison, it works. If it works, I'd strongly prefer it not kill anybody. All right. Thomas Edison has an unfavorable opinion of college graduates seeking employment because they cannot answer his examination questions. Who composed Il Trovatore? Verdi. What is the speed of sound? Oh, trick question. Sound travels at a constantly diminishing rate of speed. But I believe the fastest rate on record is 11,463 feet per second. 
How do you know all this? I read that this morning. <laughs> Never requested a house guest before. Really? Hmm. I can feel it. This is different. Eight minutes from the junction, sir. Hmm? Westinghouse dinner. We're going home. I'm tired. I already shook enough hands today. Evening, Frank. George. What? I'm not stopping. Right. Maybe the brakes are busted. I doubt that. An emergency came up in New York. Don't let him agitate you. This is how he is. Before he was a wizard, I let him live in my basement. My wife wouldn't have him at the table with us unless he cleaned himself. And boy, given the ultimatum, the man ate over. How does he work? You want to know his secret? He engineers his own reality, and he looks for needles in haystacks. But how does he know there's a needle in the hay to begin with? He doesn't. Neither do you. But he's so determined not to be the second person to find it, he'll go stalk by stalk on it. What do you know? I won't say one good thing about him. He could be the richest man on earth, but he doesn't give a damn about money. What does he give a damn about? It was rude, not stopping. I spoke to Mrs. Westinghouse directly. I accepted the invitation. It embarrassed us both. Why do you feel embarrassed? What do you care what people think? I care what they feel. Mary, talk. I just want to test the resistance. Where's my barrette? On top of your bureau. What's a bureau? That's a swatch under your barrette. Can I get you to promise on here that you'll build me a fence? Ground's frozen. Needs to thaw. Look, you're missing it! It's a baby! It still has her socks! Tom, come see this! You want half a million dollars, you make me something with your name on it that I can sell to General Sherman. Counteroffer, how about I don't give you what you want, but you give me everything I want? Half a million. We are gonna be big, big, big! <laughs> no one stops that, Alfred. Woo! <laughs> 